So we wanted to demonstrate just a little bit more about the capability of the Bliss Tuner to show cross-hemispheric brainwave coherence and what that means. So I'm here, I've connected myself to the Bliss Tuner. <clears throat> On the top right, you're seeing the waterfall landscape plot of the Sepstrom. But down here, we're showing the time history of that internal coherence. What we want to see here now is whether or not when I close my eyes and come to meditate a bit, if we actually see the change in coherence. Yes? So we're going to wait till the data gets silent here. And now I'm going to close my eyes. Here we go. Closing my eyes. Relaxing my jaw. Feeling a little rush. Good. That was lovely. So do you see this peak here? That peak there dramatically showed the moment when I closed my eyes. Now I'm going to do that again just to show you the dramatically fast way in which the coherence indicator, the coherence history, the sepstrum here, right and left hemisphere, is showing me when I begin a meditation. So again I'm going to begin that meditation. I'm going to just adjust the gain here slightly, adjusting the gain a little bit, and I'm going to display a few more frequencies here. This is the alpha in green and the beta in purple. Okay, now I close my eyes again. Relaxing my breathing. felt a rush there. So do you see again what happened here is how quickly this coherence history right at this point displays to me the intensity of my meditation. That's the point is that the alpha to beta ratios on the left are actually being displayed in summary in the Sepstrom coherence history plot. This is how the coherence history can show us the quality and intensity of our meditation. Literally brain coherence is meditation coherence. I meditated here and here and here's the result in the history plot. This is the dramatic use of internal coherence sepstrum as a meditative training tool in EEG cross-hemispheric coherence, the bliss tumor. Thank you.